What is the coolest perk of any job you've had? My dad used to work for the city health department, and part of his job was testing dairy products for pesticides. Every so often he'd bring home cartons of ice cream that had been tested. He works at the wastewater treatment plant now. He doesn't bring home samples anymore. I work in a four story building. The top floor was vacated by some company a few years ago, but all the offices and bathrooms are still there. I happen to have the key to the floor door into the office from the emergency stairs. I go up there to go to the bathroom. Whoever was the head on show there had a really nice bathroom. I set up shop up there with my own TP, magazines, soap, act for my own use. No one ever comes up there, and I have been using this bathroom for well over two years now. College professor, all my kids get free tuition. I have three kids, so far. Keep pumping them out. Go to get your money's worth. Free lunch. Just order it and have it billed to our account. If you stayed late you would get free dinner as well from whatever restaurant you wanted. This was Midtown Manhattan. They would also give you a town car ride home if you stayed past 8. Get into any Six Flags park in the US for free. But the downside was I worked at Six Flags. When I worked at a movie theater in high school we got to watch free movies, eat free popcorn and soda our entire shift, and we would get the movie posters and banners after the movies were out. But probably the best thing was before we went all digital, we had to watch the 35mm film before it could release to ensure the timing was right and the audio matched up, and usually that meant you and two or three other people in a huge auditorium alone watching a brand new movie. What a freaking great experience. It makes scary movies so much more intense too. I miss it. Company cell phone plan with unlimited internet. I use it as a Wi-Fi hotspot and haven't paid for internet in 3 years. Pro. I get to sit in a recliner and watch TV, read, work out or whatever I want really as long as the station shows are done and we respond to calls when they come in. Con, last week I got paid $8 for spending an hour scraping a body off of a train and into a body bag and consoling the family. I got paid to play video games. I was an invisible security at an adult arcade bar. I would come in at 8, get a pocket full of tokens and hang out until 2. No posts to maintain. No trash duty. Simply be another customer playing video games until a bartender hollered at me to throw someone out. I get all Jewish holidays off even though I am not Jewish. Pretty much the entire month of October I only work 3 days out of week and get paid for all 5. Used to work for the Seagram company. We got $400 a year to spend on Seagram booze or anything they distributed as well. For example, Absolute. I was 20 something then. My place was a popular hangout. I worked at a mom and pop pet store. When no customers were around I could lie on the floor of the kitten room and be covered in a dozen fluffy kittens. I had a work study job in college. I worked in the office for the department of my major. The woman I worked for said she believed more in the study part of the work study program. Basically, if I showed up on time for my shift, and there was nothing she needed me to do, I was free to go and still was paid for the entire scheduled time. Especially the last two years of school when I was in the building all day, I would walk down there, say hello, and 75% of the time would go back to my area. Once when she was sick, she had me go to the campus center to get her soup for lunch. That was my job for the day. She was awesome. Hum. Free car, with a gas card, with free in town use. We get our birthday or any other day of that week of our choice, off with pay, minus one hour paid lunch hour, making the day a seven hour work day. Free phone, which we are welcome to port our personal number to, and have it ported back if we leave. Work from home one day week, I love my job. I currently do sales for a French company in the US. Some unique perks are traveling to France every year for team building, unlimited vacation time, nobody is counting, and the option to work from home whenever I want. In the military and we get an hour of our shift to work out, literally, get paid to do any form of physical fitness you'd like, powerlifting, walking, yoga, stretching, swimming, biking, basketball, etc. Helicopter ride every day over a major city. 
discounted hotel rooms. Sometimes I'll book a room for 2 days just for the heck of it, because a 2 day stay only costs me $30. Worked at Quiznos once, lived off sandwiches the whole time. Worked at an auntie Anne's once and did the same. Got to talk to Anthony Bourdain for 20 minutes about whiskey, drank wine and learned how to make pasta for 5 days in Italy on my company's dime. Free Aureus anytime they come out with a new flavor. Ditto on Godiva and Ben and Jerry's. A portrait of myself made out of Cheez-Its. Source, am food journalist. I work at the library at my university right now. Best part is that my communication with other people is very low. Other than telling people to get out at closing and occasionally getting info from my supervisors. I don't have to talk to anyone. Also, I get to listen to music the whole time. Gotten through a lot of albums that way. When I work tech for an insurance company, I got a couple free computers and a wireless mouse and keyboard set. The computers were being thrown away because we were upgrading. Asked my supervisor if I could have a couple. He said yes. Wiped all company info off them. Threw in some upgraded internal parts and took them home. The keyboard and mouse set was being thrown away because one of the fold out foot things on the keyboard broke off. Everything else worked fine. But the little plastic foot was gone. So I kept it. I have free access to a makerspace with a dozen 3D printers, a laser cutter, most of the basic power tools, sewing machines, and laptops with fairly powerful 3D modeling software. I spend way too much of my time in there. Free funerals for members of my immediate family, a much appreciated and very generous benefit for being employed as a church music director in my particular parish. When I was in college, I worked for an SC Johnson Blade factory as a summer job. Not only did the ladies love the guy with all the free scented candles, but the company store sold Ziploc bags, raid, fruits and passion stuff and more for incredibly cheap, like, a buck for a case of Ziploc bags. Independence which I squander on Reddit all day. I came here to say this, sitting in my fancy clothes spending yours tax dollars on internet points. I've had a job where I was stuck at the office for hours upon hours just to be there, and for the last 2 plus years, I've worked remotely for a different company. The overall perk of working from home is the ability to be independent and completely self-sufficient while also being allowed to achieve the work-life balance you need. No one breathing down your neck or watching your every move, yet being trusted to be on top of your responsibilities when they need to be handled. I love that. For me it has to be working for UPS. I get 46% off shipping and running an eBay shop saves me a ton of money for secure deliver. That's an oddly specific percentage. My dog comes to work with me every day. One job paid for my masters. Another job has given me free access to world class shows and conferences along with line pass. That said, I'm actually going to go with the free sandwiches I got to eat at the sandwich shop I worked at in college. Part time Starbucks partner. Other than the free coffee everyone knows about, we also get premium Spotify for free now. Former Disneyland cast member. Back when I worked in the park, I took a friend into the phantasmic control booth above Pirates to watch the show. She got to see the guts of the show through the cameras. We stayed up there for the fireworks. Once during a former stage show, I arranged a one-on-one -on -one with Ariel and Belle and my little sister backstage. It was just right behind the stage door so not fully outside. But she was so excited to have time to chat with them without having to share with other kids. So not the best perks ever, but some special moments. In the late 90s I worked in a tech support call center overnight. I averaged 6 calls a night, with average handle time under 5 minutes, meaning I actually worked less than a half hour each night. We had an insane amount of bandwidth and there were 4 other guys on the schedule. We played online games all night. We'd all go to the same server with our insanely low pings and totally dominates until an admin kicked us. Free foe. Every day, I got so fat. Free booze. At work. My first job was at a movie theater. It has been described by many old co-workers as the best worst job ever. Now the particular theater I worked at wasn't corporate owned. So we had a lot of good perks on paper such as free tickets and snacks. Just soda and popcorn. 
but also a multitude of perks due to poor management. Essentially, the managers would sit in an office day and watch Netflix or anything else to kill time while they let the shift supervisors do everything, which ranged from giving orders to floor staff or cashing out registers. Some of my best memories were due to this poor managing so I'll share a few. I was a projectionist for 3 weeks while one of the full time projectionists were on vacation. This was a couple years ago so we didn't use film projectors anymore. However my managers didn't know how to set everything up on timers. So they think it's still necessary to start each theater individually which literally means pressing the play button. After about an hour's worth of work, you have roughly 2-3 hours to frick off and do whatever you want as long as nothing broke. If a bulb stops working, you're fricked and basically have to shut the whole theater down and hand out refunds. Our theater was built in the 90s and didn't get rid of their old equipment, so they stored it all in the projections booth. One faithful and boring evening, I was working the booth alone and my supervisor friend was working with me so naturally we had to find something to do. After an hour or so of spitballing ideas, we come up with a great idea to help out the projection booth and get rid of some of the old equipment our way. We took one old CRT monitor up to the roof and tossed it like a bad habit. Unfortunately, this started a series of bad habits where we would throw more things off the roof for several months. Outside of the projector booth, the only fun job was ushering because you didn't really need to deal with customers too much. They basically give you a list with movie times and you clean when the movie ends. After this, you again get an hour or two worth of free time where you're supposed to check the restrooms and do hallway sweeps. If you were working with the right people that day, you'll always find ways to make it fun. We often played hallway golf with our brooms and a tennis ball to kill the time. If we knew that no one would enter a theater for a while after we finished cleaning it, sometimes we would have theater ninja warrior and split jump up the hallway into the theater because the walls were close enough. I know it's not that rare, but flex hours are a beautiful thing. I love getting every other Friday off, especially when the following Monday is a holiday like Labor Day. Overnight shipping at a 90% discount. It doesn't sound like a huge deal, but it gives me wide latitude on shipping things without huge lead times, comes in handy around the holidays and if I need to get something important to someone with immediacy, it takes the sting out of that. Seriously, it's cheaper for me to send it guaranteed overnight than ground or first class mail. Getting paid every two weeks. My new job I'm paid every week and it's amazing. Makes it so easy to budget out. Worked at a small pub in Scotland when I was at uni. The manager was also the owner so he would give us free beers at the end of the night to wind down and make multiple baskets of chips, fries, during the day for us to snack on. Combined with the easy hours and calm nature of the pub made it the all time best job a student could have. This past summer I had my first job, internship, where I was allowed to come into work and I could wear clothes like shorts, a t-shirt, and even a hat. I know it's not the best but it honestly helped me be more productive and enjoy going in a lot more than I thought I would. Setting my own hours and working from home. There are plenty of weeks where I put in 50-60 hours but the freedom from commuting and from office cultures is heaven. I eat for free every day. I've worked in food service for the last 6 years and almost never have to actually buy groceries. Free fountain drinks, 80% discount on a pizza buffet, and a mother fricking whistle. I blew the crap out of that whistle. I get a paid lunch break, as well as them buying my lunch. I get the week between Christmas and New Year's off with pay. Just last week they randomly gave me a $100 gift card. On Fridays we leave an hour hour and a half early and still get paid for the whole day. Typically people are drinking on Friday afternoon in the shop. I spend half my day on Reddit. There are a couple dogs in the office. We usually get a $100 gift card for Thanksgiving. We get a Christmas bonus. Our Christmas parties include free booze. Last year I left the Christmas party with two bottles of Grey Goose. If I need to come in late, or leave early it's always no big deal. I could probably make slightly more at another company, but I am very content where I am. When I was in grad school at Wash U, I got free Metro Pass. It's a pity the Metro network was limited in Saint Louis but often I'd park somewhere and go downtown to attend ball games for free. I'd also pack my luggage to work and take the train to the airport to avoid airport parking. 
Needless to say I made full use of it. Delivery driver here. Free pizza when I work. 50% off when I don't. No manager breathing down my neck. I always pick the music. Occasional free weed booze from a customer. I deliver to the local police stations a lot so all the cops ignore me. The perks and being able to stay above the poverty line while in school makes it a pretty dang sweet gig, Sean. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.